Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today you will see how to crochet amazing spider web motif and how to join such motifs in large piece of work. For work I will use 1.4 mm crochet hook and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. Please join me. Let's crochet the motif. To start the work by making a chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The foundation chain is ready and join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. My foundation ring is ready and work into the foundation ring. Make travel crochet. Make chain of 4 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3, 4. I did them instead of first stitch, then chain of two for the chain space, yarn over the hook twice, and make 11 treble crochet into the foundation ring. 1, 2, chain of two, two. chain of two and three chain of two four and so on in total it should be eleven of them then I will show you how to complete this round. Let's complete this round with me. Once I have done all stitches, to complete this round, work with a slip stitch into the fourth chain stitch. One, two, three, four. Make slip stitch. My round is ready. It was round one. Let's crochet round two. Let's look at the back side. While I made the first round, I removed a long piece of yarn along the stitches. Make chain of three to bring up the yarn. Then chain of three for the chain space. One, two, three. I did chain of three instead of first stitch. Then double crochet into the stitch of the previous round. Then chain of three and double crochet into the stitch. Chain of three and double crochet. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round. Let's complete round 2. Once I chain the last one, I insert the hook into the third stitch, make a slip stitch. My round is ready. Let's crochet round three. Make chain of three to bring up the yarn instead of first stitch. Then chain of five for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make double crochet, chain of five for the chain space, and double crochet into the stitch, chain of five for the chain space, and make double crochet. Keep working in this way till the end of this round, then I will show you how to complete it. 
Let's complete round 3 of the spider web motif. Once I chained the last one, to complete this round, work with the slip stitch into the third chain stitch. Round 3 is ready. Let's crochet round 4. It is very easy to make. Make a chain. I don't use it. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the same third chain stitch. Make half double crochet. Then pico. Chain of three for the pico and work with a slip stitch into two loops. Of the half double crochet. The pico is ready. Make five half double crochet into the chain space. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Well done. Then half double crochet into the stitch and chain of three for the pico and work with the slip stitch into two loops of the half double crochet. Make five half double crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. And half double crochet into the stitch and work with pico. So keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete my trim. Once I have done the last stitch, I remind you it was round 4. Insert the hook into the half double crochet. Make a slip stitch. To secure the yarn by making a chain. And that's it, my motif is ready. You should remove the yarn along the stitches on the back side. You can use crochet hook or sewing needle, but usually I use sewing needle for this. My delicate spider web is ready. You can use any kind of yarn and any crochet hook. It depends what yarn you will use, you will get amazing. Table clothes, doily or table runner. And right now I will show you how to join such motifs together in large piece of work. Let's stop at this point. As you can see I have already joined a lot of motifs. I will join to another motifs using last round of my current motif. I will use my picos to join to another motifs and single crochet. So I used a pair of pico to join to each motif. How to crochet my joining points I will show now. As you can see I have already done my motif. Here how it looks. And the second motif I didn't finish yet. And while making the last round I will show you how to join. I didn't finish this part of the motif. Let's complete it together. Make a chain. Let's crochet the joining point. I take the completed motif. I insert the hook into the pico. I take their backs together. Make single crochet. Make a chain. 
and complete my pico in the current motif. Make a slip stitch into two loops of the half double crochet. My joining point is ready. I continue my work. Make five half double crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, four, and five. Then half double crochet into the stitch, then chain for the pickle. Instead of the second stitch, I'm making single crochet into the pickle in the completed motif. Insert the hook from the back, make single crochet, then chain more. And slip stitch into two loops of the half double crochet in the current motif. And five half double crochet in the current motif. One, two, three, four, five. Let's stop and look. So I have done my joining twice using single crochet and pico. Then you should complete with your own. So that's it. My large piece of work is ready. Here how it looks. Each motif consists of four rounds. You can use such kind motifs to create wrap or blanket or another accessories for yourself or for your home or kitchen. I'm done the doily for my table. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. All additional information about the tools could be found in the description of each video tutorial, please. And write comment below each video what you will get with me and where you will use my pattern or my design. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Good luck in crocheting. Bye!